Gita Russia's ambassador has warned Donald Trump that there will be consequences for the U.S.-led military Russian ambassador Anatoly Antonov said on Twitter, a pre-designed scenario is being implemented. Again, we are being threatened, we warned that such actions will not be left without consequences. All responsibility for them rests with Washington, London, and Paris. Insulting the president of Russia is unacceptable and inadmissible. The U.S., the possessor of the biggest arsenal of chemical weapons, has no moral right to blame her countries. Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova wrote on Facebook, First the Arab Spring tested the Syrian people, then Islamic State. Now smart American rockets. The capital of a sovereign government, trying for years to survive under terrorist aggression, has been attacked. You have to be quite abnormal to attack Syria's capital just at the moment when it had a chance for a peaceful future in the early hours of this morning the US, UK and France launched airstrikes on Syrian military bases, provoking the furious response from Russia. The US's General Dunford said the strike had inflicted maximum damage without unnecessary risk to civilians. Mr Dunford said, we did have some initial surface-to-air missile activity from the Syrian regime. That's the only retaliatory action we're aware of at this time. We've completed the targets that were assigned to the United States Central Command, those operations are complete. He added, we specifically identified these targets to mitigate the risk of Russian forces being involved. We did not do any coordination with the Russians on the strikes, nor did we pre-notify them. Get I tensions between the U.S. and Russia have almost reached a breaking point Tensions between the U.S. and Russia have almost reached a breaking point as the crisis in Syria puts the Middle East on a war footing. Vladimir Putin's envoy vowed Russia would retaliate if Trump's administration was to launch a missile strike on Syria. The latest fallout between the old rivals follows a suspected chemical attack in Syria last weekend. At least 60 civilians were killed after poisonous chlorine gas besieged the town of Doma on April 7. Get the latest fallout between the old rivals follows a suspected chemical attack in Syria last week in the West to blame the Assad regime for the incident. Following the attack, Turkey's National Defense Minister, Nurem Kanakli, warned of an impending World War III if tensions intensified.